Hey there YouTube, this video is going to be uh, to help those out that are having a little trouble installing these custom ROMs. Um, you'll notice I'm back to uh, the stock 2.1 AT&T uh, TouchWiz ROM, or Samsung, more like it, but uh, it's really simple. Um, the very first step that you really need to do is uh, once you're rooted and you have downloaded Clockwork Mods ROM, ROM Manager, you're going to need to go ahead and open that up. First thing you need to do is press that top option, Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. And when you push it, it's going to give you a list of finds to select from. Just make sure you choose the right one. If you have a Captivate, select Galaxy Captivate. If you have the Vibrant, choose Vibrant. Then once it says it successfully downloaded the recovery, go ahead and reboot into recovery. And uh, once you've done that, it'll take you back to the Samsung recovery menu. And then just reboot your phone again. And then when you come back, <clears throat> Once it turns back on, you you should be ready to go. All right. I think the mistake some people are making, pretty positive on, it, is where they're actually putting the custom ROM. So right now, let's see. Let's exit out on all of that. I'm gonna pull up my list of ROMs that I have. This is the one I'll be installing, the Captivate Hybrid R3 ROM. I guess I should have probably plugged my phone in to the computer before I started recording, but oh well. Hold on one second, just bear with me. Okay. I'm set. Alright, of course, once you have your phone plugged in, you're going to connect and mount your USB storage. Now, if, uh, if you have two, if you have your own external uh, flash card in there, you do not want to put it there. There's my external one, my 16, I don't know, they changed. Anyway, so let's see. This should be my 16 gigabyte card that I put in. Yep. Okay. We do not want to install it there. So get rid of that. You want the built-in internal SD card they provided inside the phone. This is where you want to copy your ROM. Now you don't want to put it in any folders. Nothing. There's all my folders that are installed on my ROM. I mean, my, my phone. Alright, so you just want to take and copy your ROM. Let me see. Straight to it. Now, I already have it on here, so. You want it to look like this. You want to be able to see all your files and then come down and see your custom ROMs down here at the bottom. Okay, that's what you want. Once you have that step done, just go ahead and close everything out. Disconnect your phone. Let it run the, uh, the media scanner. I mean, this is I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, I. Uh, messed up a few times the first time I did it, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's really, really easy. And I guess it's done. Alright, so what we want to do, come into your applications, select ROM manager. Easiest way to do it is just go ahead and reboot into recovery. Some of y'all, uh, when you flash and then when you flash the clockwork mod recovery, it's going to ask you uh, 
if you want to allow this uh, application root access, you need to allow that. So, all right, just click OK. Mm -hmm. It's going to reboot into recovery mode. Oh, it's bright. All right, now we're here. All right, let's see if I can get this to focus. All right, I guess you can kind of see that. All right, you use your volume rockers. Volume down takes you down. Volume up takes you up. Use the power button to select. And when I'm installing a, a straight up new ROM, I usually uh, select the option that says wipe data forward slash factory reset. Just for good measures. Come down here and just select delete all user data. You don't have to, I'm just saying this is what I do. Let that run, it usually takes a second. And for those of y'all that are worried about not being able to revert back, I've, uh, I'll be posting a video soon on how to go back to the stock factory uh, 2.1. I mean, it restores all the apps and everything. Alright, once that's done, this will pop back up here. Let's see if I can get it to focus again. Alright, what you want to do is come down and select Install Zip from SD Card. Click it. Then come down and choose zip from SD card. Alright, this should all look familiar to you. This is all your files on your internal SD card. If you press up, it'll take you straight down to the bottom. And then you just select your ROM. If you put it in a folder, though, you will not be able to get to it. And if you put it on your external SD card, you won't be able to get to it either. So just come up, select Captivate Hybrid R3.zip, hit enter, and then come down and confirm it. Yes, install Captivate Hybrid. Hit the power button again. Now it is installing the custom ROM. In a matter of moments, it'll be done. There we go, nice and focused now. And it is done. So if you come back up here, your menu's back. And now you can just go down and click Go Back. And it'll bring you back to your main menu. Now that it's focused, let me run through these steps one more time just to be sure. All right. Wipe data, factory reset, and then OK it. <clears throat> and then once that's done, install zip from SD card. Then you want to scroll down one, choose zip from SD card. Come up and select Captivate Hybrid, or if you're using the Franken Twiz, select that. And then OK it. Do not choose update.zip. When you get the chance, you might as well go on your phone and just delete that file. It's not end up any use. So we're going to go back. And we're going to go back again. Alright, now simply select reboot system now. Mm -hmm. And just wait for it. It usually takes a few minutes the first time you boot up after installing a new ROM. 
<clears throat> any time after that though will be a lot quicker. The first time always takes the longest. And there you go, you'll see that the ROM is different because I have the new boot logo now. This boot sequence makes me sick. So in a matter of moments I should be uh, good to go. I went back to the stock because I had a little trouble with uh, one of the Franken Toys updates. It was update 4. I have a video on it on my channel. Um, when I installed it, it uh, reversed my, my volume rockers. Up was down and down was up. And it reversed my home and my back button. And uh, also it did something else. I can't remember. Oh, the orientation was screwed up when you first turn it on and go to a go to like a web browser it would be sideways when you're holding your phone straight up but if you held your phone sideways and then it would be in portrait mode or yeah portrait mode and I thought maybe I could just fix it by reverting to an older ROM but that didn't solve it I had to actually restore it to the factory settings but right you'll see that it was very successful and you'll see Eugene's nice background image that came with this ROM. My very new battery status up there. So yeah, it's real simple. It's not complicated at all. There you go. Any questions, feel free to ask. Please uh, rate and subscribe. <coughs> and uh, y'all have a good day.